So our next guest is full of magic and will be sharing a bag of his tricks once again on the CW's Masters of Illusion. Take a look. I wanted to learn how to solve one of these, a Rubik's Cube. Now I found out that a very small number of people on the planet have ever been able to solve a Rubik's Cube. But I wanted to do something special. I figured maybe I'd try a second. But I want to take it a step further, even further than that. Now, I've got a little bag here, and I'm going to place this Rubik's Cube, the smaller one, into a bag, and I'm hoping I can have a, maybe you all, if you don't mind, uh, I'm going to throw this at you. Catch. Awesome catch, and if you don't mind. And what I'd like you all to do is mix those cubes. It's going to be a little bit more difficult for you because it is in plastic, and you'll understand why in just a moment. <laughs> I want to know what you, what did you do with the Rubik's Cube? <laughs> Watch the show to find out. Oh, well, it is, so, it is so great to have you here. Um, this is actually coming up right in a few more weeks, so this isn't a trick that we're yeah, going to exactly, see right away. Exactly. So how long have you been doing magic? I have been doing long, magic probably 23 years this year, as a matter yeah. of fact. Yeah. Uh, Eric Jones. Sorry. Good to have you here. Yeah, I know. Hey, was very excited. I about just the trip. so I'm a huge fan because I watched you on another talent show. Yeah, thank you before, for remembering and me. And have been in awe ever since. So. Uh, That's awesome. I, by the way, have had a Rubik's cube sitting on my desk for 12 years that has never been solved. So then we'll take care of that. Yeah, okay. Today. Oh, well, there you go. Uh, so you've been you've been peering uh, another episode of Masters of Illusion. How many times have you been on that show? Uh, this is my sixth season. I, I don't know exactly how many appearances uh, per season, but this is my sixth year with the show. So uh, it's a, it's been an incredible yeah. incredible ride. Yeah. <laughs> well, how do you even come up with these tricks? You think about it, you know, and you're seeing all these other masters of illusion, yeah. and you got to top everybody one after another. So how do you come up with these? You know, ideas? so they, they say that there's nothing new under the sun, and mm. if that we see further, it's because we stood on the shoulders of giants. Yeah. So what I do is I take things that have come before me, magicians, you know, who've, who've been around for years, and I take things that they've performed, and I change it a little bit to fit my performing style, and sometimes by changing it one degree yeah. makes all the difference. Now, do you guys all get into a room and share secrets? What's the inside scoop here? Well, if you attend Hogwarts, you get to learn <laughs> all the secrets, you know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, but yeah, a lot of times we get together, whether it be at magic conventions or, you know, at a bunch of different places, and we, we hang out, we exchange secrets. There's tannins here. Uh, mm -hmm. There's Don't Blink Magic Shop. There's a lot of great magic that's happening right here in the city, as a well, matter of fact. Dean Kane, who's the host oh, of yeah, the show, came guy. to visit, or spoke with us about the show. He said that He's literally standing right next to you guys, yeah. and he still can't figure right. most of those things out. Then that means out. we're doing our job. You're doing it. <laughs> uh, so you're going to show, by the way, here's the Rubik's Cube. Thank you for getting this. Uh, <laughs> I'm sitting on my desk, literally unsolved for 12 years. One day I will figure this out. I I'll work with the algorithms. Me. I'll show you. Oh, the algorithms. We'll, you yeah. got it all up here, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, that's all right, one but of you, brought it, you brought some tricks with you today. So, you know, I wanted to try an experiment. Okay. I'm going to start with uh, showing you one of these. A little votive, a little candle. I'm going to leave that sitting here for a moment. I also have, uh, I think, up oh, there it is, uh, a lighter. Perfect. I also have a couple of other things that I'd like to pull out as well. I think, oh, here we go. Now, inside, I hope we can see it. I've got a few pieces of paper. Mm -hmm. See if we can get all four out there. Nothing else inside, as you can see. I'm going to leave that sitting here. Now, I want you to examine the pieces of paper. This is what I like to call wish paper. Whatever you wish for can appear. Take a look. Make sure that they are exactly what they seem to be. You can even use your hands, okay. Hazel. I don't mind. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Everything looks good? Yeah. I want you to watch closely this little paper. If I touch it to that alchemical, alchemical flame, if you watch, Ooh. it changes. What? Get out of here. To a little bit of money. Now, this is a uh, walking liberty, American half dollar, 50 cent piece of silver coin. I've got another one here mm -hmm. in this piece of paper. Watch really close. Now, uh, this one you can see. This one you have to see to believe. Watch. Oh my gosh. <laughs> That's, That's kind of cool, right? But the best things, the best things happen in threes. Mm -hmm. So if you watch this piece, I'll do it slowly. I know where to look. I can't focus. Now, you know, <laughs> sometimes people think that things go up the sleeve, so I'll pull the sleeves back because yeah. I don't want you to accuse me of doing okay. anything tricky, right. even though I am. Okay. I want you to watch the top coin. Oh, he even took his glasses off. I like that. Watch. <laughs> the first one. I'll do it slowly. Did you hear that? Yes. yes. That's the sound of the coin crumbling up so small that it becomes invisible. Of course, right. that only leaves two pieces of silver, nothing else in the hands. 
I'm gonna try it again. Mm -hmm. Watch, this one leaves one here. But the last one is always the most difficult. And because you are watching so closely, yeah. I'm gonna misdirect you. Okay. Misdirection, of course, is the idea that I can get one thing to happen in one place right. while the cool thing happens here. See if you can follow this. Mm. Watch the corner. <laughs> but if you watch, if you listen, you might hear inside. Get out of here. Come on. Get out of here. <laughs> Three. Stop it. Point. How cool is that? You are too cool. You are too, too cool. cool for school. That is amazing. <laughs> I, I was trying. I knew about the misdirection, so I'm trying to look somewhere else that, you know, not with the... Wow. But that's the thing. When you see magicians on a stage, they always have that pretty girl on one side doing it, distracting oh, yeah. Yeah, you. Yeah, but yeah, you yeah. Are, do, you, do you have time to do one more? Do you have, I, I do have important? time. To, you know what? Let's do this. Let's that's do this. Fantastic. I've got a, another piece of that wish paper just here. Okay. And can I have you do me a favor? Yeah, Let me see if I can find I should have a pen around here. Yeah, per perfect. I'll hand this to you. And what I want you to do is place like uh, five or six money signs mm -hmm. on that piece of paper. Oh, mm -hmm. I'm going to light this one more time. You know what's funny is you said you got to wish for something. I said, okay, no, give me some money. And that's exactly <laughs> what you chose. Especially in these inflationary okay. times. Yes. I'll take that back from you. Thank you so okay. much. And if you watch the paper, all you have to do is watch. Boom. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. That's Thank you very paycheck. much. We'll take that. <laughs> oh my gosh! That is incredible! <laughs> get, don't get too close to the <laughs> That is. Fantastic. Incredible. <laughs> Fantastic. I am Thank just you. in awe of you. Wow. You, it's fine. That's good. And those are big bills. Uh, okay? Yeah, yeah. Those aren't singles. Uh, my rent is due. I'm yeah. going to do this trick at least once a month. That's fantastic. <laughs> You're I, fantastic. And we're literally sitting right here. <laughs> and I don't know. I have no answers, yeah. everyone. I have right. no answers for you. Right. Now That's, we need to talk about the Ruby Steer. <laughs> All right. We'll be doing that in the break. Just Eric, be here. you're always so great to have you. Please Thank you so come much. back and I visit will. us again yeah. with I'd your love latest to. trick. Thank you so much, Fantastic. guys. I appreciate it. You can watch you. Masters of Illusion right here on Pix11 on Saturday nights at 8 p.m.